Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Simona and this is Scent Talk from my closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We talk about layering combos. We go over dupe houses, originals, clones, uh, you name it. We're going to talk about it here on this channel. And I still haven't figured out where exactly to look. So, um, yeah, I apologize for that. <laughs> um, if you are interested in anything and all things fragrance, then go ahead and continue watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. <laughs> so today's Monday. Today, and it felt like a Monday, and it is a Monday, and we're just trying to get through it today. But, you know, we had a delicious scent bubble, and I'm going to go over just exactly how I achieved it. We are doing, on this channel, we do like to focus on at least, at least three to four, five, usually, fragrances from one house, niche, designer, um, doesn't matter, dupes, you know, I'll show you affordable options if I have them or if I know of them, um, you know, to those, to those, to those expensive fragrances <laughs> okay uh got a million one things to do so i always say this but for real for real we're going to we're gonna breeze through today i i'm giving myself 15 minutes <laughs> i'm a rambler what can i say all right so let's go over how we achieve today's scent i am i am just you know always always we're doing victor and rolf week so this is flower bomb week basically <laughs> is what we have going on here and this is the original flower bomb and um yesterday i went ahead and explained which all ones we're going to talk about this week and um you know they're either going to be layering combos or we're just going to break down the notes and then go over and see which one is the best as far as performance, quality, you know, and uh, what the scents give me. So Flower Bomb has always been a favorite of mine. Totally left my hair oil over there. So I'll grab it in a minute. Um, um, what's, I got sidetracked. <laughs> okay, so Flower Bomb. What do we have in this flower bomb? It is an amber floral fragrance. It was released in 2005, right? It has top notes of tea and bergamot and osmanthus, middle notes of orchid, jasmine, rose, freesia, African orange flower, and the base notes of patchouli, musk, and vanilla. So in the base notes, the patchouli is usually what kills people they're like mm, i'm not feeling the patchouli and um so which is why you know i did a little research and a, quite a few people tend to like some of the flankers a little better uh, because of that absence of the patchouli note i tend to like patchouli and it actually makes a fragrance last longer i'm i'm pretty sure i'll come across a patchouli that i cannot handle um the the nor the not the normal the the really, really like just like a patchouli fragrance by itself. I, I, I won't be able to handle dirty patchoulis. I don't believe either, even though I like dirty Neroli's. <laughs> um, so one of the biggest comparisons that I found this flower bomb they were comparing it to was the um, La Vie Spell Lancome La Vie Espel. And you know, so many times I've discarded that sample. So many times I've, I've received the sample and, you know, given it away for free with other items on selling platforms or, you know, things of that nature. And I remember spraying it maybe once or twice, um, you know, during those little Sephora builder or, or not builder, Sephora samplers. And I, I just remember that I kept discarding it for whatever reason. It was not, you know, what it was supposed to be given me, what it said it was supposed to be given me. So lots of comparisons to La Vies Bell, even though La Vies Bell was released in 2012 and Flower Bomb was released in 2005, everyone still makes the, you know, comparison. So we have in La Vies Bell, oh, and, and, so I just received her today this i'm so embarrassed how late am i to this party this tonka bean party who la via spell i had never owned this before and like i said it's because i kept discarding it i kept discarding it we have i spread it on here oh we have 
black currant and pear in the top note, which I got that. Iris and jasmine and orange blossom. Praline, vanilla, patchouli, and tonka bean in the dry down. So what makes this sweeter to me initially is the, the vanilla, the praline with the vanilla in, and the tonka bean all mixed together in the dry down of this. And I am really liking that for, you know, I have no idea. Maybe my scent has evolved. I'm liking these patchouli fragrances with vanilla and all that. I don't get how can, people can say this is, well, yes, I do can get. So a lot of people say this is just, you know, your run-of-the-mill, boring, you know, sweet flower fragrance. But I like it. I'm really, really liking it. I can't wait to wear test it, you know, on skin. I bet it's going to be really nice. From the cat, it smells beautiful. Am I getting Flower Bomb vibes? Kind of. But the Flower Bomb still has something very distinct to it. The Flower Bomb DNA that this does not have. So, all right. Well, that was my comparison to the Via Spell because they keep saying that that is what it's reminding them of. That's not the only Flower Bomb that has that comparison. The other one is Flower Bomb Nectar. Um, that one they also say smells like uh, La Via Spell. So, with Flower Bomb today, this is how we did it. This is how we did it. So my skin, it's, it was really cold today, and or to, to me anyways, down here, cold, 50s is cold. So um, I really wanted to wear something moisturizing that I trusted, that I knew that I could whip on in the morning and not have to be waiting around for it to dry or seep into my skin um, or, or for it to be greasy and transfer onto my clothes, anything like that. And I know that you know what I'm about to bring up because I cannot live without this. And I have found that this particular fragrance is a really nice layering base. Um, I normally gravitate towards vanilla. So I have done a bare vanilla right here with my flower bomb. I have done that mix, and I believe I mixed an, uh, another type of oil with it as well. Um, but, you know, like it, I just don't feel the moisture as, you know, as, as I should or as I have become accustomed to the F&K um, Shea Argan Whip Body Butter. Again, this is, this is why I'm going to say this. This is why I'm going to say that I'm fully, you know, addicted to this is because... I have been using creams and lotions my entire life. I really have. And I've never gotten the results like so effortlessly just by using. I've only been using this in September. So it's just driving me crazy how good it is, how good it smells. I just need, I need, I need like a basic vanilla <sighs> or, or, you know, I, I keep saying, I'm going to order the Vanilla Fatal by Tom Ford. There is that on their list on FNK Scentology. So to, for today, we did the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540 um, because it it is just sweet goodness. You don't need a lot of this stuff. It You really don't. You just It just melts into your skin, mostly because it's, it's whipped oil. And, and uh, shea butter, and so, yeah, maybe that's why. I don't know. I just, I make sure, I don't even wash it off to tell you. I don't wash it off. After I put it on my skin, I don't wash my hands normally because I want those, you know, I want my hands to be nice and and um, and not, not dry. So it's even, like, look at that. Look at my cuticles. I used to have such dry cuticles, and I bought, like, little poo what are those things called i was gonna say poo maids <laughs> uh, anyways the c you know the cbd oil stuff um so yeah anyways put this down first the mfk back rouge 540 um i want to get the lost cherry because i feel like that will blend so well with a lot of fragrances and this one does this has jasmine in it as well the note so I decided today that I was going to do my Shea Argan Whip Body Butter first, right? All right here. 
Ooh, and then I was gonna go, you see right there, it's already gone. I know I didn't put too much, but it's already melted into my skin. Um, and then I'm trying out my Flower Bomb by TB Scents that I found on Mercari. Very reasonable prices, these oils are good. Um, I also used my hair oil that I have in several different, uh, here I have the Coco Noir by the FNK Syntology as well. I put it in my hair and I picked it up and we were good to go. And I wish I would have had my hair down today so that it could just waft in my face, but I didn't have that. Uh, but every time I moved, I could smell the flower bomb, definitely. So it's over there though, the, the flower bomb version of this hair oil because I left it on the counter because that's where I was using it. And, and it's my mother's anyway, so I'll have to go put it in the other bathroom and order one for myself because that's another one, the Flower Bomb. It goes very well with, with different fragrances. Um, so after I only did the oil on this side so that I could test and see if it would help with longevity at all, um, you know, or give it a different, a, a different feel. And it is there. It is on my skin. It is on my clothes. I can't smell my neck, but I put it on this side too. So it is very much here, the oil with, you know, and then afterwards I went in with my spray. So I did one, two, three, four. When it was like my shirt, five, six. So I normally do about six, no more than six sprays if I'm headed off um, to work normally. Um, unless it's like a really, really light fragrance, I'll definitely go in with more. And especially since I have my oils, I feel pretty secure. Um, very, very close to the original scent and it has lasted all day. I'm very, very happy with it. And so if we have poor performance on this midnight, I am confident that my Flower Bomb Midnight Oil is going to do the trick for helping the longevity on that. That that's another reason why I like to explore with these oils. I'm All right, gonna take a shower. All right, my lady, my lady's gonna hey, come here and tell us your scent of the day. What are you wearing today? I don't know. This is my lady, <laughs> and she, yeah. she whoa, babe, what? and she wore today. She loves the baccarat rouge. Uh, anything having to do with Baccarat Rouge. She loves it. She loves the extract version because it smells like cotton candy to her. To me too. But she wore the uh, Tease Creme Cloud today. And how did your longevity go? Let me put this back. Let's, let's see you. Oh my goodness. Do you still smell good? Oh yeah. <laughs> I tickled her. You can't even see her. Do you still smell good? Oh, they are. Okay. Say bye. Bye bye. All right. So that's my little one. She is. She needs her fragrance for the day. Okay. She needs her fragrance, and she's more of an explorer than my son. My son. We explored with him for like a year, an entire year. You know, he really likes Mancera holidays, but then he just went off when when I ordered some. Uh, what is it called? Some cream of this kind the fnk of the effing fabulous man the minute he got his nose on that so i just had to get him a travel spray for christmas because mama ain't going to buy the full bottle if we have a, a really good you know cream to to that smells exactly like the original to me <laughs> and to him too he loved it so anywho let's continue <laughs> 15 minutes 15 minutes, Janelle. Okay, we talked about Flower Bomb. We talked about how the oil is delicious. It really is. I'm super happy with it. I could not be happier with that performance. Now, Flower Bomb on my skin over here, very, very faint. But there. And not as strong on the clothes anymore as we have here. So, normally next time that i wear flower bomb i will definitely put the oil in here and both wrists and behind the ears and then go over with with my flower bomb um in fact you know what i'm smelling i'm so crazy i'm smelling this on this side <laughs> and on this side i'm smelling the oil all right that's what's going on so for good measure today 
We went ahead, this also contains jasmine. I got this during Christmas. This is the Iced Rose Star Jasmine in white, white Amber. Nice, nice. It's, I can't figure this one out. It smells, it smells sweet, clean. Oh my gosh, it smells beautiful. I am in love with this pure wonder. I have the shower gel and I have the lotion too, but I, and that would probably mix really well. You know what this would go really well with is the La Via Spell, definitely. Because La Via Spell is a little slightly more to my nose anyway, more perfumey, <laughs> if you will, less gourmandish, less, less, you know, delicious. <laughs> but at the same time, Let's see how we're doing the dry down. Well, that's not going to tell me anything. I have to do it on skin. Okay. Anyways, point is, point is, we're not, we can't get to dry down on paper because uh, it's not my skin chemistry. So that's not going to work. Um, all right, you guys. Sorry, my, I got to go tend to, to the family and we'll see what we layer tomorrow. Um, I'll probably... I was thinking we have quite a few left of the of the lovely um, the nectar. We have the nectar, but I was actually thinking before the cold goes away because Texas is very bipolar when it comes to its weather. <laughs> it's super like you know today we're in the 50s, tomorrow we're in the 80s. I'm like what? And I don't want to get caught wearing bonbon in the 80s because they say that. You know, it's more of like a caramel toffee. No, thank you. I don't want to be caught. So I'll check the weather, double check. We might do this or we might do nectar. We'll see. We'll see how it goes ah, for tomorrow. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video breakdown on the notes of Flower Bomb. Um, I did go over the vanilla layering that I did before. And I was actually going to say that... Since the top note has tea, I think that anything with tea, any fragrance with tea, if you want to bust that note out of Flower Bomb, I was thinking I just tried the Noir 29 by Le Labo. Not by Le Labo though, by Dossier, the Dossier version. And I was thinking, where is it? Citrus Neroli. Citrus tea. I was thinking. What if I were to go, because the day that I tried the citrus tea, you know, by Le Labo, or, you know, the, the dossier version, I remember liking it so much. And I think that it would go really well with the flower bomb. Okay, baby, I'll go right now. Okay, gotta go. But I really do think that the Noir 29 would mix beautifully with flower bomb, and I cannot wait to try it, and I will get back to you guys. In fact, since I'm wearing it today... I'm going to give the little one a shower and then I'll shower it. I'll go ahead and layer it right now. And then I will, I will get back to you guys on, um, in fact, let's just do it. I will get back to you guys on how that layering combo goes. Ooh, because this was a tea. I remember enjoying it when I was at work. I totally sprayed my mouth. Ah. Okay. So this is top notes of bergamot and so does, uh, Flower Bomb have top notes of bergamot. Fig and black tea, top notes of tea in, in um, Flower Bomb. Middle notes of bay leaf, tobacco, jasmine, and vetiver. We have jasmine in the middle notes of, of Flower Bomb. And then the base notes of cedarwood, cedarwood, musk, hay, peach, and incense. And we have uh, musk, I believe. Yeah, musk in uh, Flower Bomb. So... Oh, that's a nice fragrance all by itself. But I keep saying that I want to have that experience of having my Noir 29 and my Santal 33 mixed right in front of me. So we are spraying. We are going in here on clothes and skin with Flower Balm and Citrus Tea, the Dossier version of the Noir 29. And I will follow up with you guys on this tomorrow because it just hit me, you know. Let me move these suckers on the back. I've only had one wearing of the citrus tea of the Noir 29, and it was so delicious. And, and I'll tell you which one overpowers which one. 
Okay, yeah, 19 minutes. I always do this. I say 15, I go over by five. It's just, I have to learn to come to grips with it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, we're going over Flower Bomb Week this week. All things Victor and Ralph. Thank you. Bye-bye.